Oh no, that ass, that ass, that ass is coming down! Big old booty. CyberConnect 2, the people that made the story for Soul Calibur 5, they also did the dot .hack uh, slash hack, or I don't know honestly what it's called, but they made the Naruto games and the, the hack series. I think there's two forward slashes in there. Anyway, badass game over here. This is one of the most amazing games I've ever played because it literally unfolds just like an anime. The art style of it is great, and then it focuses on the Hindu religion, which in, in video games... If you talk about all the religions that are talked upon, so like your Christianity, your Satanism, the whatever feudal kingdom stories there are, the gods of Egypt, gods of Greece, um, just cultures, Hinduism is, isn't touched upon very often. So, watching this is so awesome and badass. But yeah, let's let's get into it. Um, so, the weird thing about this game is that it has an episode structure. An episode structure that, um, it's just weird because, you know, you're not used to it. And, uh, there's, I want to say there's 20 chapters. And then, um, there's also, uh, let me see, let me double check. What, I don't even know what, what what extras is. But yeah, so there's about 20 structures. And um, the game does have some DLC. The DLC is actually really cool. And I am going to go through it. Quit game. No, I don't want to quit the game. But you're if you haven't seen it, you're going to be stoked. So we're going to do a new game. And we're just going to do uh, For All Players to Want to Unleash the Wrath. I kind of want to start off on hard mode. Oh, yeah, we'll go hard. Yeah. Because I think in hard mode, you get the secret ending, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll go ahead and do it in hard mode nonetheless, though. So. Yeah, so what I was saying earlier is that Hindu religion, it's pretty cool, not touched upon very often. And does this game take advantage of that? It's actually really dope. Paramount, <laughs> right? Barracuda. And I don't know who Project Barracuda is. I would like to know a little bit more on them. Maybe we'll learn when we go into the extra. The foul, impure beasts that roam the land. The Gama. In order to save civilization from their never-ending threat, the demigods who govern the world created an ultimate weapon that would wipe the Gama off the face of the planet once and for all. Their legions were led by the eight elite demigods, the eight guardian generals. One of them, General Asura, was in the thick of battle. So I can't remember exactly when this takes place, but it does take place on Earth, and like, th th the, this is a space battle. It starts off as a, an insane space battle. It's freaking awesome. Yep, look at that right there. God, I wish I, I was listening to this on my badass headphones, because this would sound so great. And this is cool. Every... I believe every episode has, uh, not every episode, but some episodes have different intros and whatnot, but this is so dope, just as he descends down through space, through everything. Yeah, so this plays a little bit like a shoot 'em up a little bit. It's hard to actually de define the mechanics of this game because it's not what, what you think it is. But yeah, we're, we're right here just we're part of the uh, demigods that I believe are supposed to be the protectors of the planet. Alright, look at this fish. So, that is the weird part, is that, um... Can I do a dead barrel? Is that, um... Yeah, so that is the weird part, is that the gameplay for this game is actually really hard to describe what it is. There we go, rapid fire. It's not exactly like action, like Devil May Cry style, but it is, um... Oh, I totally forgot that there's a lot of QTEs in this game. There's, there's a lot of Goma Lasher Impurity level 13,000. So the Impurity level kind of determines how evil something actually is. 
But yeah, so it's not actually action. It's more like interactive cutscene. Actually, there's a lot of QTEs. It takes a lot of um. Oh, I'm gonna mess this up, but it, it takes a lot of the QTEs take a lot of inspiration from God of War. All right, so let's go ahead. So triangle, triangle, and then. You hold square to do the rapid fire. Oh boy. There we go, there we go. Alright, get out of here, fish. Dude, go fish later. So let's go take care of this rock. And we are trying to get rid of the impurities. We are the demigods. We are the elite. The very few. The ones who are trying to build a wall between them and us. Because they are illegally coming into our world. Alright. The one thing that sucks about this scene is that it doesn't... I don't think it does the best job of... Um, Detailing exactly what's going on like it tries to be ep epic and it is but part of the problem is that It's hard to find something the karma forces fortress It's hard to find something to compare this to scale even though there's spaceship and all these monsters If you're gamma goma Just like the Legend of Zelda boss of Ocarina of Time the first one the life giving mantras will one you. I believe his daughter is the one talking right now. I'm not 100% sure though. Seiji Shimoda. Goku, offer your prayer. Never mind. That is not her sister. Right, I believe this is. Yeah, there he is, 28th Emperor. Strada. No, yep, that is. That's his daughter. Mithra. So, I don't know a lot of these words, so I'm gonna have to uh, figure out what they mean eventually. Dude, look at this badass guy right here. He's a good guy, so I actually don't know why I'm shooting him. Alright, so if you hold square, you can just like go straight into rapid fire. But yeah, so a big issue with this, like right now, is just it's really hard to get a scale of how cl like how far these things are. Because you are in free fall, but it does feel a little bit different. Oh no, no. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh no, oh, I missed that QTE. Shit, I was not paying attention. I was looking at the. Shinkoku. I was looking at the uh, subtitles. Here we go. Is that all of them? No. I don't know what that was. These lights, I don't know what they are. I feel like one of them is a Sura's friend, the blue guy. Alright, so that's the Viren. This big dude. <laughs> Anime ass dialogue. Oh yeah, so this is, uh, I want to say his name is Algus. And he is like the, the strong one. He looks a lot like Akuma. Maybe he, his design takes inspiration from Akuma. But it's it's pretty dope. He's got a long sword though. August. Oh yeah, so this is um Yaksha. He's pretty much like a Soro, except he's really fast. <laughs> like really fast. I don't know if he just uh usually just uses his feet. There's Yaksha. Yo, Yasha, my bad, Yasha. And then uh, he wears this cool actual like bird mask, which is I really like. The music for this is pretty cool. Though. The only thing that's is the QTEs. This is Sura. <laughs> Just this in the f screen. I like it. It's just. I remember correctly, I just do not like the QTEs in this game. 
Yeah, so once again, hard to get the actual scale of what's going on in this game, just because of everything going on. Like, it's cool and it's epic, but you're falling down and it's, it's, it's a little bit difficult trying to see how big everything is. I'm holding the controller in such an awkward way because I'm trying to get rid of all this. I have my hand crossed over trying to press a square and stuff. Alright, there we go, burst. I don't know what burst is, I can't remember. QTE right here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, look at that! <laughs> Just straight up punching the side of it. Yeah, so the gamma have got to be these asteroids that are just straight up coming in. Nice. That's got to be Yasha. That's Byron or, or the, the fat guy. Oh, this guy, I don't like him. He just straight up looks evil. Like, look at that face. Sergey. Absolute evil right there. Absolute evil. One more time. Faith Guardian Caro. So this is funny because these guys, if you didn't see it in the other ones, which were pretty cool, these guys actually seem evil. <laughs> these three in particular. Have you forgotten that I am most concerned when the beauty of destruction? Ah, this guy is so pompous. I My hate him. strategy is a flawless. There is no need for us to be on the front. We need but sit back and wait on the And that's the leader, I believe, the eight generals. Became generals is beyond me. Commander Davis, send me reinforcements directly to Davis? Oh, that's such a good name, too. Commander General Deus. Huh? Uh oh. I don't know what the Brahmastra is. Okay, so what does that mean? So, what's its true capability? Uh, he was not very loud right there. Interesting. Is an instrument of destruction. Oh, this guy's an asshole. As you wish, Commander. Then the other guy. Alright, here's the Brahmastra, which I... It's a weird weapon. Because it just... Of what it looks like. And what the weird part is that, you know, they said it wasn't hard up to 100%, but they still fire it. But why, you know? So at 100%, would it have, like, gone through the planet? Like, what's the point? But why? not? It shows how serious we are about winning. Behold! Here's the guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Vlitra? Whatever that means. Oh shit, what is that? I don't remember this at all. So that was on planet Earth? Gamma level Vlitra, period level immeasurable. <laughs> That's so good. So I guess that's a mouth. I mean, it's huge though. So what was the point of the, the gun? Blow up the planet? Just for no reason? There it goes. Now it actually looks like a little bit more like a monster. Alright, no problem. Asura's Wrath. That is Yasha. Yeah, Yasha's okay. His design's interesting. Alright, so here's the Ramastra. Power. It's okay. I mean, it's it's okay. Here comes August. So this is weird because it definitely makes the sword not seem like a good guy at all. It just makes him look like he's just power hungry. 
And he might be. That's why the game's called Sir's Wrath. It's just weird, you know? Yeah, so as you can tell, I'm not the biggest fan of this game's intro. It's cool, but it's just, it could be done better. Like, this firing mode is really weird. It just requires you to just be holding on to square and press a triangle. And then, these little QTEs, uh, at least in my mind, they don't, it's hard to tell when they're about to happen. I wish you'd get an insignia. Because it kind of just means you have to pay attention all the time. And you don't know when you can actually watch that cutscene. I didn't need your help. <laughs> okay, I'm angry. I'm the Batman. Here we go. So they're launching it into the air. That's fine. That's no problem. Oh, did I fuck that up? Okay, no, I didn't. Left, right. What? How did that not count? Or did that count? I can't tell if that counted or not. I'm confused on what's actually going on. Please tell me I didn't die right there. No, I didn't. Looks like this part of a cutscene. Actually, you could probably get through this whole first intro, honestly, even if you died. I don't even know if there's a way you can actually die in space. I haven't seen a health bar. So we got a Suro and Yasha, and they're just floating into space. So the she revived them. This? Give me strength. Ah! Is this where he gets the rest of his arms? Yeah, there we go. There we go. More arms. One more. One more. One more. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Six Arn Vajra Asura. This is where he gets really cool. Because he's got all these dope ass arms coming out. Like wings. Okay. Alright, what is he gonna do? Kiss me? Or is he gonna spit at me? What's about to happen? Oh, I did I mess that up? Once again, these cutscenes, I wish they would uh am I going right? I just, I wish they would do a better job of telling you exactly what's going on. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we got sort of like a better roll. Alright, so I think now I can actually die. It's, it's still a little bit hard to tell though. Um, we're just gonna, we're just kind of floating over the screen, just shooting and stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. There we go. Nice. Here we come. Five finger death fist. I did I mess that up? I think I might have pressed that a little bit too early. I couldn't tell. Oh man, these QTEs are screwing me up. Alright, so I can't remember if I actually go inside of it now. Alright, so it looks like he jumped off. It's a weird animation. I wish it was it was done a little bit better. Okay, not bad. Let's go, let's go. Alright. Oh, I hope we don't do another uh, fly through scene. Uh, I'd be good if we could just get those over with already. So, no more arms. All my arms are gone. I am armless. <laughs> Women love arms, but without my arms, I can no longer get a woman. Alright, there's Yasha. What troubles you? Everything. I could not kill it. No one can kill Vlitra. Vlitra, that's his you name. You should be grateful you were able to subdue it. <sighs> oh, this guy. <laughs> it's like, 
You're you good. You can just put it away. Ever, but it will not be back for a while. So, can it never die? I honestly can't remember the story of this game. Due to General Asura's effort, Freaking the robot. Has subsided. Something's about to happen. They betray him, I just can't remember how. And I know he gets betrayed because... Like this... That was the point of the trailers. Okay. What's about to happen? Something's about to happen. The time is near. Is he talking to himself or does he have a microphone? Because hopefully no one else hears that. Episode 1 The Coming of a New Dawn. Oh man, that was a long intro. To be continued. Was that the, was that the uh, prequel? Results Part 1 Suffering. Episode 1 The Coming of a New Dawn. Time score S, synchronic rate, absolute shit. Alright, exit or so. And I, I believe the other thing is we can't actually get upgrades in this game, which was kind of weird because it's a little bit of like a Devil May Cry game, but at the same time it's not. And so this is cool right here. We just get like in between cutscenes Karma Fortress Deus Chamber. After the battle with the Goma Vitra. Scroll. Oh, I can move it around. Uh, how do I scroll down? Or is it just looking up around? Yeah, I guess it is just that. Congratulations, Commander. We have once again succeeded in suppressing the bleach. That's, that's Karo. That's the guy in the back. That means nothing. In time, I'll be back to pose an even greater threat than today. Vlitra, that vile beast, destroying it would be more troublesome than I had anticipated. Okay. And who would have thought that the Helian Asura would be the one to quell it? He even managed to outperform Argus. That was only possible because he the aid of the priestess. Here, okay, so here's the other cutscene right here. This is his daughter, the priestess. Ah, yes, his daughter, Mithra. We might very well owe our victory solely to her. The priestess proves to be more useful than Emperor Strata himself. Oh, what is going on? Perhaps I have said too much. Humph. Harnessing her power will be a vital step in achieving our cause. Indeed, her ability to amplify mantra is quite remarkable. You would never guess that mindless brute to be her father. I suggest we intervene for the priestess' sake. He is a potential danger to our plans. Not just yet. He can still be useful to us. So is this the third cutscene? Yeah, it is. There's the uh, weird uh, spaceship. For now, we must concentrate on completing the Karma Fortress as well as finding a more efficient way of accumulating mantra without that. Rest assured, Commander, I have already devised a plan for it all, including the Priestess. Very well, proceed as planned. Failure is not an option. Priestess Mithra lent her so this is really cool. We just get a little... Gaia rejoiced at the victory over Vlitra. This is this awesome. Time of celebration did not last, for in the shadows of victory, the wheels of betrayal had already been set in motion. In One episode two, shake the very foundation of Shinkoku. And they just tell you that in episode two, just already. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and go to the next episode. Why not? Oh no, that ass! That ass! That ass! It's coming down. Big old booty. 